Hello Geeksters, it's Omar from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Today I have a real special review. This is for a product that I've been uh, playing with for about a month and a half now. And uh, this is something that was sent to me uh, free for review from 42nd Street Photo. You can check them online at 42photo.com. And they were nice enough to lend me this new Canon uh, EOS 70D DSLR camera. And so uh, I'm going to start this review by letting you guys know that this is not going to be the co a comparison review. There are uh, many re many videos out there on YouTube right now that do a really good job of comparing the uh, the 60D to the 70D here or the 6D to the 70D. Uh, I do not have enough knowledge of those other DSLRs to do a really good comparison. So if that's the type of video that you're looking for, uh, I apologize. This video is not for you. Um, the, what I really what I really want to do is just briefly go over some of the, the really good features of this camera and really focus more on the video aspects and what makes this camera camera a really good video camera for those of you that are looking for something maybe to, to possibly replace your camcorder okay so let's go ahead and get into some just basic features and, and specs to, and then we'll dig into some really good details of some other things so first off this uh, this camera does feature a brand new 20.2 megapixel CMOS sensor and that sensor is a dual pixel CMOS autofocus sensor and this is something new that Canon just came out with and uh, let's just start out by saying that it does a superb job of, of autofocus and uh, like I said, we're going to talk more about video in just a second, but when it comes to video, this camera definitely steps it up and it does a really good job. So the ISO rating for this camera is it goes from 100 ISO to 12,800 ISO. It can even go up to 25,600 in H mode as well. It also does shoot really high speed uh, photos as well at 7 frames per second, so which is really good for quick action sports as well. I have some demonstrations of this in, the, in another feature video that I filmed. So if you guys want to check out some examples of that, uh, I'll put the, the link is in the description below. It also features a 19 point all cross type autofocus system. So this system is very fast and it's very accurate. Even in action shots, it does a really good job of, of focusing on just the right spot at just the right time and it does it really quickly. And of course, one of the great features that Canon added to their DSLR lineup, uh, I believe about two years ago, maybe a year ago, was the touchscreen. So this features a three-inch touchscreen, and it's also a multi multi-touch operation. And uh, some of the cool things you can do with this is obviously you are able to adjust different settings via the touchscreen, which I find to be much much faster, much simpler than having to mess with the buttons. And of course, some of you that are really familiar with the button layout and how to get to the functions and, and features really quickly using the buttons, you may not ever really mess with the touchscreen. But for me personally, I've, I've been using the Canon EOS T3i for many years now, so I know what the buttons do, but I still kind of appreciate being able to touch the screen and get to them really quickly and be able to see the settings. Also, the good thing about the three inch touchscreen is the live view. So even when you're taking still photos, you can switch into live view and you can switch your ISO settings, your aperture, you can tweak all your settings and it'll show you in live view what your photo will look like. As opposed to changing Changing your ISO setting, and taking a picture, look at the screen. Okay, I need to raise up my ISO. Raising up the ISO, taking another picture, look at the screen. Doing those types of things, you can actually just press. Uh, you can actually just do the live view and use the touch screen for that. The other good thing about the touch screen is it does features touch autofocus. So while you're filming videos, normally it has it, it re has really good face detection. So if you're filming a person, it's going to track that person's face very well. But if you're filming objects, you may want it to focus on an object that's a little bit further away and not so close up. So all you have to do is tap on the screen in the spot that you want it to track, and it will actually track and move. You can see the little pics, the little uh, the crosshairs on the on the back of the touchscreen, and it will follow that object around. So it knows that that's what you want it to focus on. I give I give a really good example of this in that feature video that I already mentioned. Uh, link in the description. So that's the three-inch touchscreen. Besides those, those features, I, I really enjoy using the touchscreen a lot. Now let's talk about another really cool feature, which is Wi-Fi. And so I also have another feature video going more in depth into Wi-Fi. But basically, Wi-Fi is an option that's only available on the 70D and the 6D DSLRs from Canon. So basically, this feature is twofold. Okay, it allows you to do one of two things. The first thing it allows you to do is send pictures wirelessly. So you can actually send pictures wirelessly to other devices, like mobile and tablet tablet devices, which are on iOS or Android. You can send them to computers that have the included software installed on them. You can send it to media devices devices like smart TVs. You can send it to other cameras with Wi-Fi. You can even print wirelessly with Wi-Fi printers that, that are using the, the PICT bridge uh, protocol. And lastly, you can send it to Canon's Image Gateway, which is like their cloud service. So uh, not only can you send pictures wirelessly, but you can also control the camera remotely. So you can either control it with a smartphone, like an iOS device, like an iPhone, an Android phone, or a computer with the included software as well. So check out these, the setup in the demo video for more details on how this feature works. But Wi-Fi is definitely something that's really cool to see. And I, I'm sure a lot more cameras are going to start featuring Wi-Fi on them. So now let's talk about video. Okay, now of course this camera does feature 1080 HD video. But the magic feature is Canon's new dual 
dual pixel CMOS autofocus sensor, which is amazing. It delivers fast and buttery smooth autofocus, just like you would on a camcorder. And like, like I mentioned earlier, it has the face detection and the live tracking. So I think this camera would definitely replace your camcorder because it will provide better quality video and it gives you that depth of field that's only found on professional cameras. Um, the one thing that would be nice to see is if they could add the dual SD card slots. I know that other DSLRs are trying to feature this, like Nikon. They're trying to offer dual SD card slots. Not a big deal, but something that would be nice to, that they added to it. Also, if you want to have a continuous power, like plug-in power like you would have with a camcorder, you can get this with this camera, but you would need to purchase a kit uh, under $100, but it would be able to provide continuous plug-in power, so you wouldn't have to be swapping out batteries all the time. The other thing to note is when filming yourself with the LCD screen flipped all the way around, so if you're filming like yourself like a vlog in a vlog type of scenario, the wires may block the screen and may make it difficult to see yourself. So if you have a, a headphone jack plugged in there, you, it'll probably block the screen. So now let's talk about the area where it could be improved when it comes to video, and that's where audio lies, okay? So when it comes to audio, there's still some room for improvement. It does feature uh, stereo microphones that are built into it, and it does also have a 3.5 millimeter mic input on the side. However, there is no headphone jack to hear your levels. So you can manually adjust them in the settings, but there's no option to display those audio levels on the LCD screen while you're filming. So I definitely think this is a must have to be able to monitor your levels when it comes to pro video situations. Uh, so, but besides that aspect, I think this, this is definitely a camera that people could purchase if you just want to use it to film video and never take a snapshot or take any pictures. It is just that good of a camera. So this wraps up this review, guys, of the Canon EOS 70D. And uh, once again, big thanks to 42nd Street Photo for sending me this camera and letting me uh, letting me review it for you guys. Uh, now, I don't want to mention the actual price that they sell this camera for because if you're viewing this video six months from after the time I filmed it, then the price won't be the same anyways. But I can tell you, though, that 42nd Street Photo has great prices on all their cameras. And this camera is actually currently marked $200 less on 42photo.com than at big stores like bestbuy.com. So definitely go check them out i know that they sell legit products i actually purchased my my canon t3i from them and it's still the camera i've used uh, to film all my reviews for the past two years so um so definitely show them some love and go check out check out their website at 4240.com and i hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you did please show some love to that like button down below and if i missed anything or if i made any mistakes or if you have any questions about this product post those in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you guys and and, and of course guys please stop by geeksforlabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews and i'll see you guys in the next video review